Carlin ISD has been all the talk for some hmm. Central Texas parents who are worried about the fate of the district. The Texas Education Agency sent a letter revoking their accreditation and letting parents know the state no longer recognizes them as a public school district. Six News reporter Jasmine Caldwell was in Marlin today trying to get answers about what this means for students. Jasmine, what'd you find out? Well, Chris and Leslie, according to the Texas Education Agency, Marlin ISD has been an F school district for quite some time. They failed the state academic accountability ratings for eight years in a row. But this technically does not mean the school district is closing. Patrick McGorick's daughter is a student at Marlin ISD. He began to worry about the future of her education after hearing the district failed to meet state standards for the eighth year in a row. Tell my daughter was going to school here. I'm in school all my life. I don't want to send my daughter to another school. I want her to graduate from Marlin High School like I did. The Texas Education Agency sent a letter to parents saying the district received a 2019-2020 accreditation status of not accredited revoked. In an email Sunday, Superintendent Dr. Gene Bainey says Marlin ISD is no longer recognized as a Texas public school. Mayor Carolyn Lofton says she's still trying to figure out what this means for students. It doesn't look good, and I think that just reading that, a lot of people are... Uh, having issues with it. They're panicking about it. In January, city officials announced a charter school will be pursued as an option for students if the district closes. They hire former Waco ISD superintendent Dr. Marcus Nelson as a consultant to help them figure it out. Because without a public education, your community dies. I mean, families don't want to live in a community where there's no school system. They have children. They need to be educated. So they move to districts that do. Now, parents like McGorick is just wondering what's next. Just wonder where the kids don't go to school since the other schools around here like Bremont, Chilton, Rosebud, Risa is all saying they fool. So where we want to send our kids to. Now, Mayor Carolyn Lofton says she hopes to have a sit down meeting with Marlin ISD Superintendent Dr. Jean Bainey tomorrow. Now, I did speak to the superintendent on the phone and she told me parents who have seniors in high school should not worry. Last year, they were not accredited and students graduated, received their diploma and got some great scholarships to college. She did. She did say that the district has filed for an informal review with the state. That informal review has been granted. Now, if the district closes and the charter school plan fails. The only other option is for students to get bus to other school districts, the largest being Waco ISD. Chris and Leslie. Yeah, but again, yeah. far away. A lot of answers.